Did you have a chance to visit uh, Gulen schools in Turkey? We did. We did. Very nice. Very impressed. And what are the first impressions about those schools? Clean, uh, well organized, well run, uh, well disciplined, uh, and, and well staffed. Like you say that the world peace has two components. One of them is education. The second one is communication. And what are the things that make Facebook Lens education system work better? Oh, I think it's uh, the, the What's your observation, personal observation? I, I'm glad I, I got a chance to listen to that question yes. while you were talking to my wife, uh, <laughs> because I know uh, the, the most important thing for me to see there is the, the quality and the, the dedication and commitment of the um, staff and, and the, the professors. I think we heard at one point, maybe it wasn't any of our business, that uh, some of the, the teachers don't make much, very much more than, than what it costs to go to one of the schools. Uh, and so they have to be committed. They have to be willing to, you know, sacrifice the, their, their private time to, to work, you know, put in the extra hours that it takes for, for an educator to be a, a good educator. Uh, and I, th I believe also someone uh, made the point of saying that the teachers there um, set themselves up as good role models. They don't um, indulge in tobacco or, or alcohol, and they're not uh, frivolous, and they're not um, overly materialistic. They, they live the, the teachings themselves. Mm -hmm. Actually, rather than telling to other people, like, given that the, in mm -hmm. Turkish schools it is not uh, permissible to teach like, religion in public in, in schools, mm -hmm. so what's your idea about that. Oh, I think that's that's the, the best way to summarize uh, is they, they put their, their words uh, into action and that shows in the, in the quality of the education, the quality of the people that you have as educators. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you have a chance to read any good dance books? I, I read a few. Um, I had uh, come to know Orhan and uh, Mohammed Chetan um, several months before the, uh, the trip. And I talked to uh, Mohammed about uh, some of the uh, uh, books that uh, Gulan has written, and I haven't I haven't read everything, but I've read uh, a few of his articles, and, and uh, um, I'm I'm quite impressed. What are things that impress you in the the uh, follow through of of actions from words? I know he uh, <coughs> was criticized. I think uh, in the 90s uh, by some uh, newspaper articles, maybe some government officials, and uh, his response was not um, to come back and say, no, they're lying about this, or they're lying about that, or they don't know about this over here, you know. His response was non-response. And, and I think that's, a, a, in, a, in a larger picture, that's how you, you deal with violence, is with non-violence. We're in the season for non-violence right now. We have Mohandas Gandhi and, and Martin Luther King to, to show us that it, that it can have a great effect. And uh, my only hope is that Fethullah uh, Gulen uh, also um, gets the recognition you know, that these, uh, these great uh, peacemakers have also. So do you see, what are the similarities that you see between Fethullah Gulen and Gandhi and other peaceful heroes? Just the, the, the nonviolent aspect, you don't respond. Um, to violence or, or whether that be verbal violence or physical violence with violence. Um, you know, that's just part of, of the, the golden rule, you know, in Christianity is you treat others as you would uh, like to be treated yourself. Uh, you don't react violently. That's not going to, to solve anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we dance principles? I, I, I feel a great comfort whenever I'm in the company of uh, the people that are in the community. They always have a, 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 a positive uh, energy that they, that they put out. I don't know of any other word to, to express it. It's always a very good, honest, sincere feeling. And then will play an important role in building peace in the world. Well, I, not specifically his, although I think his ideas are, are, are wonderful, but education 
uh, in general. We need to educate um, a lot of people, and I don't mean that just in the um, type of learning that we gain from our, our educational institutions. This trip to Turkey was, was uh, very educational. Anytime you can take people uh, and, and show them, you know, not just tell them or read to them, show them that they're not alone uh, in the world and that other people have the same ideals that, that, that we do, then they're educated, their ignorance is removed. So how does education help world peace? Um, well, in that perspective, you know, uh, from from the perspective of an of an informal education, um, you know, I, I don't want to hurt anyone in uh, Turkey. I don't want to hurt anyone anywhere. But when I can go there and I can relate to to these people as my brothers and sisters on the planet Earth, then then uh, war is just not an option. Violence is not an option. As far as education, I think the, the higher the, the level of um, uh, formal education, I think you teach people, uh, you, you can't help but come into contact with other thoughts and, and new ways of thinking about things. And uh, that, I think, carries over into uh, society as well. And uh, know about Islam. What did the word Islam mean to you? Well, as, as a student of... of uh, religion and philosophy, I think I was probably more aware of uh, Islam than, than the average person on the street. Um, but still, it, it is a, um, reading it from a book uh, is, is not the same as experiencing. And uh, to, to supplement uh, the reading, you know, with uh, experience is, is, I think, a, a key to long-term understanding, knowledge. What are the differences that you realize, not differences, but what reinforces your ideas about Islam or after the trip, before, when you, I mean, even though you are a, you are a student, what are things that complemented your found initial information about Islam? Well, I think what, what, uh, what I found to be reaffirmed was the, the um, idea that I've had for, for some time that uh, there, there is one God and, and there's many ways of, of looking at it. You know, when I see the terrorist activities and, and these people claim to represent Islam, you know, it, it challenges my belief that, that God is at the heart of all religions. Um, but going to Turkey and, and seeing quite differently um, that, that uh, God speaks, you know, many different languages, um, and I don't know where the extremists get their, their notions from, but, uh, uh, you know, the, the Turkish Muslims are reading the same Quran as these other people. I think the other people maybe have another agenda that uh, they bend and twist the, the meaning of the words to, to suit their own desires.